So you're looking in on a foreigner in the Philippines who live out in the hills, mountains of Bohol, and uh, very isolated out here. We live on about seven or eight hectares, and about part of uh, our harvest would be coconut, and that's about a uh, hundred. We've got about a hundred trees. And one of the problems with, with this is rats. And one of the cures, which is a fairly universal uh, cure that's known in the area, we actually learned this from Dan Christensen at uh, Blind Owl Outdoors. But what we do is we put some metal up on the tree. It doesn't stop the, uh, the rats from getting down, but once they're down, they can't get back up again. I think this is effective, you know, because when I when I compare the when I compare the harvest the other time uh, the, the in the previous without that metal plain metal sheet, uh, there there's an increase of income. I would think that there was. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure this might be Philip's idea. I remember that Dan told me that he. He heard from another friend, so it may be Philip's idea. Philip is Philip is another expat, an American guy. Yeah, the one who lives in the opposite mountain, but yeah. it's very far. But we can show the mountain where they live. Yeah. You need help? Okay. There's still some few coconuts hand that need that. I think 20. So you need to do 20. We're not doing 20 today. <laughs> <laughs> We're just doing a demo. Yeah, yeah. How about if there's rat in the they're on the top. How could they get down? Well, they can get down quite easily. It's getting back. Ah. Careful on your... Well, good job. Yeah, the, uh, the other coconuts, sure. we already put some of it. Do you have to sit there? So that's how it is. Yeah, well, there's just a jungle. Before we we pay Manurado to clean all of this, because there's a lot of rats who eat the BV book, uh, the boko, you know, which affects, which decreases the income of the harvest. But sure. later on, when when a friend recommend Terence about putting some sh a plane like that. We we will we didn't pay any more manurado to clean up, but I think it still it still needs to clean up because it's getting more jungle why now. We, why don't we take a walk down and uh, and look at the well while while we're down here? Yeah. We put a well in a new well um, a few months ago and an electric pump. That's what you can see here. This is our cable supporting the, the electrical supply down to the pump. But this was the path from here. This was the path that we used to have to carry all of the water. All of our drinking water, bathing water, washing, laundry, everything had to be done this way. The real path was actually longer than this, 
what we're walking now is where the, uh, the pipe, the supply pipe of the water is buried and that's what this is that we're walking on. So the actual path went there because it was too steep to actually walk with water. Sugar! That dog sugar wherever we go. And sometimes we bring in that truck and we go down to the down the road. So this may seem like a, a walk in the park, but if Beth looks back up there at the house, gives you an idea. We're only halfway there. But we'll take you down and show you the new well. We've got a smaller well which we left in. Because some some other people, passers by and everything, they need to be able to get to water, so we didn't want to block off the old well. We're actually getting towards the end of the day now. You can see that up on the hills there, the sun is getting very low, shadows are long. Can you imagine carrying gallons of water yeah. every day? Remember how old that was? Yeah, yeah. I remember you been you fold this part, you know. <laughs> remember that time when my you, you've been up there, you've been falling down. I'm falling down. <laughs> So that's the new well and covered in you're looking at the pump is under there and it's shielded from the weather. It's actually an outdoor pump so it's it's actually waterproofed. So this is the the metal cover so that the that the well is actually sealed. It's a much bigger well and deeper than this one here. I'll go down and show you this one. Yeah, it's just around, I think, two feet. <laughs> this is just a few feet. And this is the way this is how we got our water. Yeah, amazing. This is actually a clean well, good drinking water. The only thing is it wouldn't walk itself up the hill. No matter how no matter how we talk to it, it wouldn't do it. You drink some of that. As a demo, careful. No need to, honey. Any more than I need to fall to show you that it's quite <laughs> treacherous here. Okay. This, this well was dug by uh, by Beth's father. Yeah. And it was one of the first things that he would have to do when the family, as it was then, him and Beth's mom, came to this ago. area 50 years ago. And it took 48 years I never... to get this built and a pump to take it up there for my mother-in-law Maxima to be able to go to a faucet in the uh, kitchen and turn it and have water come out. Can you imagine how she felt after 48 years? Over on here is some of the rice fields that we that we actually plant and harvest. Yeah. Up and over there, there's another barangay and another house over there. You can see now that we're gathering up for some rain. Those are all rain clouds. That rain, when that rain comes, when it's the real torrential rain, you can hear it as it sweeps across the land. It's so heavy on all of the undergrowth and the grass. 
Okay, well, that's our show of the well. And if you look back up there, Beth, you can just see up by the way the sun is is actually going down now. That's that's the walk that we used to do when I first came here. That's the roof. You can see the roof of our house up there. You can see where uh, my brother-in-law, Manorado, Beth's brother, has put metal onto most of the other. These are the these are the trees that belong to Beth. And that's our nasty dogs being horrible to each other. So, we're actually ready. We've been looking in on a foreigner in the Philippines. We've been looking at wells, hills, how hard life used to be, how much easier it is now. Sugar, and that's the dog, barking at nothing, which is what dogs do. That's right. You can go to GoFundMe, Island Hilltop Community by Terence Flannery where we're raising money to do various projects such as this, such as this, which bring benefit to many people. Uh, we put a road in, you'll see some, uh, some examples of that. We put uh, a bridge in and we have other projects if you'd like to go there and look at our story, look at uh, our plea for donations, please do. Look on our, uh, at this, at this um, YouTube film and like, comment and hopefully you'll subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook, terrence.flannery at gmail.com. Look forward to your company and your subscription. Bye for now. Bye bye.